Hey, did I ever show you a homemade this a blood simulation to spook your friends? If you like to scare them, you can watch this video in which I show you how to create your own virus. And this is what it looks like on viewport. Let's start by deleting the default cube and adding a normal cube by pressing Ctrl and A. Then going into edit mode by pressing tab and getting rid of those three faces. Scale it up and go to the modifiers and add a solidify modifier or increase the thickness in a negative way and apply it. Done? Good. Add an icosphere and scale it on the c-axis by pressing S and then C. Scale it down a bit, then duplicate it twice. Scale and rotate it. Now press F3 and type quick fluid. Click on the quick fluid pop up thingy. Now go into the viewport shading mode and change in the object properties the display to wire of the liquid domain. Scale and move the domain so it fits in your scene. Increase the length of the cache to a higher value. So far, the whole liquid will be water. We just have to swap the blood by going into the diffusion tab and change the values to those on screen. Depending on your blender version, you will find the diffusion tab somewhere else in the physics tab and because blood splatters happen to be moving pretty fast because of a supersonic projectile hitting a body we might want to lower the time scale to 0.1 or so let's actually work on the blood splatter by giving it more impact so go back to the two icospheres you duplicated and scaled and add fluid and flow type and make a flow type a fluid flow type now go into the bigger icosphere and check the initial velocity checkbox. This will make the blood go one direction, which you want to find out by pressing N and moving the big icosphere in the direction in which you want the blood splatter to go, and then watching the X, Y and Z coordinates, and go and apply the knowledge you just obtained to the initial X, Y and Z in the physics tab. In my case, it is going negatively in the X direction. Let's start our first test big by going to the domain plane. But we don't have to wait for it to finish. We just need 30 frames or so. So by pressing escape, you can stop the bag. And if it looks fine to you, you can increase the resolution of the domain. At the end, we might want to use a resolution of 256, but 128 will do for now too. Now let's go back and adjust the wall so they look like they're actually stopping the liquid. Yes, you could use the fluid effector for the collision, but that might go buggy on us and will eat some of our precious blood. And the wall isn't slanted or curved, so the walls of the domain will be good enough for us. Now just tell a dude you don't want to play Apex Legends and add the mesh for the blood. I would increase the uprest factor to 3 for some more detail. You should be done with blood simulation now and bake the final version of it or use the one you have right now. Just so you know, I used the resolution of 256 mainly because I didn't want to wait an hour for the bake. Only thing missing is the color. The color is red. So just go into the shader editor and make it red and set the IOR to something between 1.34 and 1.37. And now you can show your friends how they're going to end up after quarantine. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And if you loved it, sub to my channel and ring the bell to never miss an upload of mine. Goodbye.